hello and welcome back so in this one I'm just going to try to explain uh, the fold structure that we have here all right so that you can follow along and uh, know what to look at when something goes wrong okay so at the very top of our tree we have uh, main dot pi and main dot pi is uh, just responsible for running our app so this app actually comes from uh, our app init.py so we have this folder called app and in it we have init.py all right so in init.py as you can see this is where uh, we configured our themes uh, the fonts we are going to use as well as uh, the sizes for those fonts and uh, basically basic configuration for our app all right so while we're here you'll notice we have our font settings here but uh, these fonts don't actually exist all right so let's fix that really quickly before we move on so the fonts we want are Roboto instead of uh, Inter all right so I'm just gonna copy the Roboto bold replace our Inter font here with Roboto and then regular is going to be uh, Roboto regular and then for our body text no actually uh, for our body we're going to use regular right so and then for our subheadings we're going to use roboto medium and then i'm actually going to add another one here all right and i'm just gonna say fonts.styled right and this is going to be our lobster font so lobster regular all right and I'm just gonna put it there okay so anyway like I said in our init.py this is where we have the main app this is basically the whole container that runs uh, our widgets right so if you look our main container here our app container runs this widget right called main window so it builds and runs this widget called main window and this main window widget comes from view.py right here so this is uh basically the root canvas this is our main canvas so how things work here is we have our main canvas right our main root box so it's just a box and what we're going to be doing is we're going to take this box and we are going to be adding widgets into it to build our app so at the start we have our main box that's uh, the white screen that you saw in the previous tutorial right uh, I'm just gonna pull it up again all right so this one so this is our main box so right now it has nothing what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating separate widgets and then we'll keep placing them in this box until we have an app all right so this is the class for that box and the layout for that box is in main.kv here as you can see it has our uh, background color and our screen manager here so this is going to be uh, this is going to contain all the different screens that we're going to have so right now it has a default home screen right so this home screen where is it well it's in views so views is basically just a folder that contains all the different views that we have all the different screens that we have so we have uh, by default uh, one view our home view here so this is the logic for that home view and this is the styling for that home widget and then we have our libs folder which basically contains our garden flower so in this case we only have one which is the icon fonts garden flower all right and then finally we have uh, this widgets folder so this is uh, a bunch of custom widgets that I have that I usually need for basically all the apps that I create in KV so in this case if we ever need to create another custom widget that isn't available in KV by default then we're going to be placing it in this widgets folder so to wrap it up we have uh, main.kv which runs the app we have 
app the app folder which contains the basic configuration for our app as well as the main window the main box where we put all our other widgets to create the app we have our assets folder which contains assets or resources that we need to create our app like fonts the icons and the images in the app we have our libs folder which contains external libraries that we need for our app we have our views folder which contains the screens or the views for our app so the home screen the sign-in screen the pos screen all of those are going to be in the views folder lastly we have the widgets folder which contains our custom widgets we also have this api folder so this is going to be basically the back end for our app so everything that deals with back end you know stuff like getting the products that we have adding products database queries all of those are going to be in the api folder all right so that's it for this one now uh while i have you i'm going to add another view here which is the login view all right so again i'm just going to use uh, my custom script and i'm going to i actually want to create a page so i'm going to go to my views right and i'm going to create a new page and call it uh i'm just gonna call it auth right and this creates uh this folder right here so we have our new view here auth with uh auth.py and auth.kv so auth.py is uh basically the logic for our authentication view auth.kv is the styling for our auth for our authentication screen init.py is uh you know just to input this so we can use it later now uh you don't have this so uh you know what i'm going to delete it right and then uh show you how you would create it so you would basically go into your views here right so right click your views not your home create a new folder call it auth right and then right click on auth create a new file call it init like this double underscores please not one dot pi right create a new another one again in auth call it auth dot pi and then create yet another one and call it auth dot kv all right and with that uh you can then just do from kv dot app you want to import the app class right and then from kv dot lang we want to import the builder right and then oh we are actually doing this in the wrong one so just going to cut this we want to do it in auth.py not auth.kv this is important all right so import the lang and then we're going to import our root widget so from kv.uix.box layout we want to import the box layout like that okay and then what you're going to do is create that auth class so class auth which inherits from a box layout all right and we're just going to pass in uh any arguments that are any keyword arguments that are given to the inherited box layout so super dot init and we're going to pass in the keyword arguments all right so fine now the next thing you want to do is make sure that this auth also imports the styles for it all right so we're going to go down here and we're going to do builder dot load file all right and which file do we want to load well we want to load views auth and then auth dot kv which is this file all right so by default here we are going to style our root widget right and we're just going to say orientation is vertical all right just like that and we are done with our kv file all right now let's go to our init and in here it's going to be a simple one we're just going to say from dot auth we want to import auth all right 
and now finally we want to take our new view here and register it remember I said we have the main window which is the main box and we're basically going to be putting all our views or all our widgets in it to create our app so we have to go to our app main.kv here which is the styling for our main box and we are going to import our new view all right so that we can uh, add it to the box basically so import that auth where is it it's in views.auth and what is it called well it is called auth all right and now we can basically just copy this whole thing so it's basically screen so what we're going to now what we're doing now is we're basically just creating a new screen for our authentication workflow so we're just going to call it we're just going to add uh, our auth widget into this new screen i'm going to give it an id of auth and this screen is going to be called screen auth so that we can uh, easily navigate to it all right and just like that we are done so now if in here we just for example add a label and we just say text is equal to auth and uh, let's just give it a color and the color is going to be app dot color uh, let's do color um, tertiary let's just do color secondary all right for our secondary color now if we run this we should see that we uh what is going on oh we are still in views sorry all right let's run this and i'm gonna drag it again so you'll see we have we are now in the auth screen you see that we have our label with auth here all right so this is where we're going to wrap this one up in the next one we're going to start working with our authentication screen so we're going to start creating the ui for it so if you have any questions regarding this part of the tutorial leave them in the message box down below otherwise please if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe it helps me a lot I'll see you in the next one.